Well, this is an easy one, guys. If you own an 09 to 18 Ram with the 5.7 liter Hemi and you want basically one of the loudest catbacks currently available for this truck, the Flowmaster Outlaw dual rear exit catback that I just installed on our truck is going to be a top choice. I say that because this system is gonna peg an easy five out of five on my one to five or one to wake the neighbor scale. It's definitely gonna wake those guys up if you're an early riser like me. And from personal experience and from popular opinion, this system is actually said to be louder than a straight pipe setup. Full disclosure, I've had this system on my vehicle for well over a year and it is one of my favorites. Second one being the American Thunder system if you're looking for something a little bit quieter. At any rate, what I really like about this system for the Ram in particular is it gives you the dual rear exit option if you've got the factory cutouts on your bumper. But if you wanna change things up, you can actually go with a split rear side exit. Either way, whichever configuration you go with, this does bolt on quite easily, uses all your factory hangers and factory isolators, and you only have to make one cut to the supplied extension pipe depending on your cab and bed length. At any rate, I'm gonna give the install a pretty simple one out of three wrenches on my difficulty meter. Shouldn't take you more than an hour or two, so if you love the way the Outlaw sounds, stick around, I'm gonna show you the install step by step. To install your Flowmaster Capac, you will need the following tools a quarter inch drive ratchet with a 10 millimeter socket, a three eighth drive ratchet with a 15 millimeter socket, and a 10 millimeter wrench. Optional but very useful tools include a U-joint, an impact wrench, an impact gun, dead blow mallet, and PB blaster. Depending on your bed and cab length, you may need a cutting tool, and a deburring tool. Before we can install our Outlaw catback, we have to remove our factory setup. That includes removing both of our tailpipes as well as our muffler and our midpipe. We're gonna start with removing the tailpipes and for that, you're gonna need a 15 millimeter deep socket. Now it's also helpful to have a swivel because it's kind of a tight space in there. All right, now that we have those two tailpipe clamps loosened on the muffler, we're gonna go ahead and pull the tailpipes from the isolators. Once the tailpipes are pulled from the rubber isolators, that's gonna give us enough leverage that we can kind of wriggle them out from the muffler itself, and then we can actually pull our muffler. All right, now that we have our driver's side tailpipe removed, we're gonna do the same thing for the passenger side. The passenger side only has one hanger up here, makes it a little bit easier on us. Right, next we have to loosen the clamps to carrying our muffler to our flow tube here. That's also going to be a 15 millimeter socket. With the clamp holding our muffler loosened, we're going to spray down our last two rubber isolators and then we're going to pull the muffler from our midpipe. Now, if any of those rubber isolators are giving you a hard time, you can actually knock the muffler loose from the clamp that you loosened using a dead blow mallet. That'll give you enough leverage to pull it out of the rubber isolator. All right, now that we have our factory muffler removed, it's time for us to remove our factory mid pipe. Now your factory mid pipe is connected to the vehicle's Y pipe by one of these U-bolt clamps with 15 millimeter bolt heads. If you can't get yours off, then you might have to cut yours off and that's okay. We actually had to do the same thing on our truck because ours has a lot of miles on it. That's not a problem if you do have to cut that off because the Flowmaster kit actually comes with new band clamps. As you can see, I put one up here already just to kind of illustrate. So let's go ahead and pull this mid pipe off of rubber isolators and then we can start installing our new Flowmaster system. So 
So now that we got our factory exhaust removed from our truck, I wanted to show you guys some quick comparisons here, maybe answer a couple questions you have about the Outlaw setup. First things first, you got your two-piece mid-pipe here. We are gonna have to cut our front mid-pipe because we are working with a crew cab with a short box. However, I will show you guys that shortly. Moving on down the line to my favorite part of this whole setup here, you got the Outlaw muffler. Obviously tiny as hell compared to the big, ugly, quiet box that this thing comes with. This muffler is really gonna be responsible for making your 5.7 liter sound the way that it should. Now, even though this thing is a five out of five on the loudness meter, this is still a baffled and chambered muffler design. So it's gonna keep things relatively composed for the amount of volume that you're getting. And from my personal experience, actually using the Outlaw in my vehicle, you're surprisingly not gonna get that much interior drone with this setup. Moving on down the line, if you were curious, the outlet pipes, the flow tubes, all the way to the tips on the factory setup are two and a quarter inch, whereas with the Outlaw setup, you are getting three inches throughout. That's really gonna be responsible for keeping the noise nice and low and deep, and that's gonna give you those nice bell tone sounds as you step on the pedal and go up to red line. And then obviously you've got the very cool and very unique setup options here. You go the split rear exit design. We're gonna use that for our truck since we have the cutouts in our bumpers. But if you wanted to go a little differently, you could go with the split side exit design. And regardless of which option you choose, the entire kit uses all your factory hangar locations. So you're not gonna have to worry about making any custom modifications to your truck, depending on which setup you go with. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this whole thing bolted up to our truck. All right, so like I said earlier, we have to cut some of our front mid pipe to make this thing fit because we're working with the crew cab with a short box. In that case, we're gonna take eight inches off of this guy using a chop saw. We're gonna deburr the ends of that cut so we have a nice clean connection. All right, now that we've made the cut that we needed to, to our mid pipe, we're gonna install it on our factory Y pipe. And we're gonna use one of the provided clamps. Now this is a 15 millimeter nut that you're gonna need to tighten down. And as you can see up here, it is a pretty tight space. So I'd go ahead and put the fastener facing upward. That's gonna give you the most clearance to get some tools in there to tighten this thing down. All right, with the first half of our mid pipe installed, we kept it pretty loose, as you can see. We wanna have a little bit of play so that we can make sure everything lines up good. Once that's in place and hung on this first isolator, we're gonna grab the second half of our mid pipe. We're gonna slide this hanger through this other isolator, and we're gonna tighten it down again using another one of the provided clamps. All right, same deal with the second clamp as was the case with the first clamp. We're just gonna tighten this enough so that the pipe does not fall off. We wanna keep it loose enough that we can play around with fitment. So with both of our mid pipes installed and relatively tight, we're gonna install our muffler. You're gonna tighten the muffler down all the way. That's gonna make sure it stays in place for when you install the over axle pipes. All right, with our muffler tightened down, we're gonna start installing our over axle pipes. We're gonna start with the passenger side one. We're gonna make sure that we get both hangers inside of both of the factory rubber isolators on the passenger side, and to tighten this to the muffler, you need to grab one of the clamps in the kit.
All right, so we installed our passenger side over axle pipe and we left it pretty loose because we want to have a little bit of play. That way we can install our tailpipe and our passenger side exhaust tip to make sure everything lines up well. Now you're going to slide the flared end of the tailpipe over the over axle pipe and you're going to use one of the provided clamps in the kit to tighten this down as well. All right, with our passenger side hung up, we're gonna do the same thing to the driver's side. Again, starting with one of the clamps in the kit, as well as the first half of the driver's side over axle pipe. All right, now that the first half of our driver's side over axle pipe is installed, we're gonna go ahead and grab the second half. Same deal, just grab another clamp, slide it over the first half, slide the flared end of the second half over that, and then you're gonna make sure that you get your hanger in place with the factory rubber isolator above. All right, next we're gonna install our driver's side tailpipe with our driver's side exhaust tip. We're gonna use the last clamp in the kit to tighten this down to the driver's side over axle pipes. All right, now that our driver's side tailpipe and exhaust tip are hung, we're gonna tighten everything down. You're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket and a 10 millimeter wrench to tighten both tips. All right, both of your exhaust tips tightened down and leveled where you want them. We're gonna go through and tighten down all of the pipes and clamps that we put up earlier. You need a 15 millimeter socket to tighten all of these down. So as you can see, even with some basic cutting required, this does bolt on quite easily. And that actually wraps up my review and install of the Flowmaster Outlaw dual rear exit catback, fitting your 09 to 18 Ram equipped with that 5.7 liter Hemi. I'm Travis, thanks for watching, and for all things Ram, keep it right here at americantrucks.com.